Okay, everyone, so today's vlog is just going to be a short Q&A session, and uh, me verbally answering this week's journal prompt. Um, I actually had this filmed this morning, but when I came home from lab this afternoon, I received uh, a set of cryptic messages slipped under my door. So uh, they contained four, four more questions for the Q&A, so now I have to refilm this, thanks to you guys. So uh, we'll start with these. It says, uh, number one, where do you buy your clothes? Uh, Express, H&M, and yeah. Uh, number two, what is your production process like? You're talking about the vlogs, then I pretty much just take my phone with me, I film anything that I think looks cool, and I try to keep the camera steady, obviously, and then I put it into editing software and I stabilize the footage. I cut out the parts that are boring, and then I piece it together in, like, mostly chronological order, and then I add background music and I adjust the volume of the music so that you can still hear me talking. Um, and then upload it to YouTube, post on Facebook and Twitter to let my friends know that I made it. Okay. Um, question three. Who is your favorite counselor? Um, uh, oh jeez. Uh, I think all of them are pretty cool. Uh, no answer. Although, uh, although, uh, Peter would be my favorite counselor if he didn't catch me breaking curfew the other day. And that's Matthew back there enjoying a late dinner. Question number four is in Chinese. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Well, I don't watch that many movies, yeah, and I... see the Chinese. It's really bad Chinese, but, it's uh... It's not bad, it's good. Well, handwriting-wise. Uh, like... Oh, you need another line. Yeah, this. yeah, exactly. So, anyways, favorite movie, well... Um, I don't, like, particularly have any favorite movies, but, uh... Jurassic World was pretty good, so if you haven't watched it, you should go watch it. Uh, okay. On to the questions that, uh... My friends submitted to me last night. It's about my life. What music do I listen to? Mostly instrumentals. Uh, some pop songs. Mm, depends on my mood, really. Linkin Park's pretty good. Uh, I don't usually listen to songs with lyrics because I have a hard time understanding the lyrics unless I'm paying attention. What is my ideal first date? Um, dinner at a nice restaurant. I pay. Uh, nice walk in the park. And then... Deep conversation over hot chocolate and frozen yogurt, depending on the season. Uh, yesterday, uh, Matthew over here posed to me the question, Why are oh. manhole covers round? Why? Well, originally, I why thought it was because... I thought it was because that corners would poke the tires. But, he uh, enlightened me that if you rotate it, a square manhole cover, that is, it will fall through the hole. But if it's a round manhole cover, it'll never fall through the hole. It wasn't even my idea. So... This is uh, all credit to Matthew here. Every day I learn something new at YSP. Next one. What did I get on the ACT? I'm going to skip that. Uh, on to questions about YSP. Is Davis really a bicycle exclusive city where only outsiders walk? Uh, not to my knowledge, but it's hard getting to places around campus or in town if you just walk. So everyone cool rides a bike. Favorite dining hall menu item? Uh, customized omelets at breakfast. I like those. Uh, bacon and cheese. And then I get some guava juice, a mug of Earl Grey, and a mug of black coffee, and that's my breakfast. How many times have I broken curfew? Twice. How much free time do I get at YSP? After dinner and all day on Sundays. What do I do in my free time? I go to the ARC, and I try and fail to play sports with my friends. I bike around, I go downtown, I go to cafes and get boba and tea Elvis and stuff shot. like that. And, uh, oh, that's Elvis right there, he's studying. Why are my socks so crisp? I wonder who asked that one. <laughs> I know, right? It's my uh, new flamingo socks. They're very crisp indeed, and it's because I wear them. Uh, $4 well spent at Forever 21. Is the YSP setting at all like high school? If not, what is the more college setting like? No. Uh, it's not really like high school because I have to do a lot of time management on my own. I have to get a lot of work done by myself without anyone to supervise me, really. Um, and then it's like my responsibility to be at, be at places on time and I have to coordinate things with the lab that I work at because there's no other student from YSP working in that lab. And yeah, 
I think the conversations we have at YSP are also a lot deeper than the conversations we have with like people from school because everyone here is so well educated and intellectual. So the level of conversation is much higher. Okay. About my research. How am I enjoying research? Uh quite well. It's really different from what I expected, but I'm enjoying the new perspective on scientific research and the actual experiment, the extracting lycopene and glucose out of tomato peel or tomato pumice. <laughs> Are the tasks I am required to complete at all challenging? Yes, because I have difficulty working with small samples. I've uh, spilled lots of things, broken lots of things. Uh, the other day I accidentally broke the only thermometer in the lab, so they have to get a new one. Uh, very unfortunate, but at least I learned the hazardous waste disposal protocol. Do YSP students from different uh, years in the same lab work on the same projects? No, because the guy who worked in the lab that I work at last year, um, that guy worked on using detergent to clean the tomato pumice, but uh, I'm actually extracting things from it, so I think my project's a lot cooler. Worst accident in the lab? Probably the one with the, with the thermometer. Although, there's another uh, incident that wasn't really an accident, but I lost the toothpick attachment to my Swiss Army knife because the, um, the lab had to work with uh, small amounts of a chemical that exploded on contact with metal, and all the measuring tools in the lab were made of metal, so I donated the plastic toothpick in my Swiss Army knife as like a little spatula to get the chemical, and it had to be disposed of in hazardous waste after I was done. On to the questions from the counselors. How does the second week of YSP compare to the first? Well, I'm definitely more used to the daily routines now. Um, I've hung out with most of the people here already, at one time or another. Uh, so I trust them a lot more, and we have lots of bro talks and uh, fun outings together. What am I more comfortable doing? I'm more comfortable working in the lab, knowing that I actually understand the scientific knowledge and how to do the experiments. because. Uh, before, I was kind of afraid that I was I would mess everything up with one accident, and then I realized that even after so many accidents, I haven't actually ruined that much. 